Forks Tower. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's, what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Do you think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Convenient. That's one word for it.
So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. You fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. Actually, I went looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in Forest Service budget and can actually afford to have you. What happened last summer that accounted for this uh, windfall? government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. And what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, 100,000 acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't wanna touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey! I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. Like the goddamn park can burn down again.
I'm near my tower at the closed trail. Uh, where's that rope supposed to be? Down the trail that leads west of your tower, so just a teensy bit south and west of you. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not gonna pop your top, are you, Henry? I wasn't planning on it. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably gonna eat it. Where's that? I'm at the cash box. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake.
What's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. There's a critter out here, a raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. Pears, pears, pears! Yes! What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure.
Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. Probably don't need this in my life right now. I left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's a... Ooh. Yes? I should probably just head back. You should probably tell these people off and then head back. But and if you <gasps> see a penis, you're gonna have to deal with that too. No, see there. Just deal with it, Henry. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy, enjoy dealing with that. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. Chelsea, what? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Look, I'm sorry for bothering you. Can you just knock it off, please? Yeah, you should be. This is a free country, and we should be free to do whatever we want. And free from any peeping Tom. I said sorry. Oh my God, is that what you are? Gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Hey, that go okay? I hope they drown. Yow. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat? Thanks. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim. 
even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now, though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or... <sighs> consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Hmm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Ugh! What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? Oh my god, lady! The, the arc of our budding friendship. How exactly are you... In charge. Aw, Henry, that's a good one. You satisfied? Yes.
I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Ah! What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Hello! It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! Oh! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. <laughs> There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles.
Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the black path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. My typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone! They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. The place is trashed. I can't believe this shit. Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Wake up! Hey, wake up! I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. I mean, we've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. The Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Uh, I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. 
Uh, hey, I can see your tower. Suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. You're in your tower. That I am. Also, you need a new barber. Jeez, do you have the Hubble telescope over there? <laughs> just kidding. You're just a little blob to me. Can you see the communication wires from where you are? I can see the poles, but I have no idea if the wire's in good shape or not. They run a good distance up to a spot called Beartooth Point. You just need to walk along them all the way up there and make sure everything's in ship shape. <laughs>